The team's reaction to Philippe Coutinho joining Aston Villa now. And Flex, what a signing for Villa this is. Honestly, I think it's brilliant. We spoke about the Steven Gerrard effect, but away from that, just the impact that he's going to have. I think it's exactly what Ollie Watkins needs. You know, someone like Philip Coutinho is going to give him an extra two to three chances a game, I believe, if you get the Philip Coutinho that we know is possible. You look at the engine room in behind Coutinho with John McGinn, Douglas Weese, absolute workhorses, giving Coutinho the platform to go and express himself. Um, and if the balance is right, Villa, Villa can be a really, really dangerous team. They already can be on their day against anyone in the Premier League. Um, and now you add that high-class um, attitude that he has and the high-class ability that he has. And he can do things with the football that not a lot of players at, at Villa currently can do. So let's hope we get the best version of Coutinho or something that resembles that. Fantastic signing. Yeah, and when we were hearing originally six clubs potentially interested in him, that then was whittled down to five, then two. Uh, Michael, how clear is it that Steven Gerrard has been absolutely key to this one happening? I think it was the key. Uh, my colleague Carve was texting me this very line this morning. Coutinho is now studying his new teammates, which is exciting for Villa fans. Yesterday, listening to Steven Gerrard's press conference was so interesting from a reporter's perspective. He knew the caps of Coutinho, the Brazil caps, 63 caps. He just got that feeling. Steven Gerrard knew this was happening. He had a little clint in his eye. He was talking to Rob, saying, look, I'll talk to you about Coutinho all day. Steven Gerrard is a serious manager. As a player, he played for Liverpool. He won trophies galore. He's not left a huge club like Rangers, who are doing really well again, could be potentially winning the league again up in Scotland. He wanted to retain that title. Many Rangers fans thought there's no chance Steven Gerrard leaves Rangers mid-season. Well, he did. He's not going to Aston Villa to finish 12th or 13th. If he wants to get Villa, look at the likes, like West Ham up in, in, in looking for the top four. They want to get Aston Villa back into Europe. Now they've left the Championship. They're in the Premier League and Gerrard wants them to be around the sort of six and sevens and he sees Coutinho as the perfect fit. And what will it do for the players around to get that player in? What intrigues me is what player are Aston Villa getting now? Because it hasn't worked at Barcelona for some reason, which has been a bit of a disaster financially for, for Barcelona as well. So that's what intrigues me. What kind of player are we getting back in the Premier League? Yeah, and that is the question. I guess we won't know the answer to that until we see him pull on an Aston Villa shirt and see him play, because a lot of people will be keen to see the Philippe Coutinho that we saw when he was at Liverpool, uh, because it is fair to say it hasn't worked out for him at Barcelona, has it? It hasn't worked. <laughs> it's like, leave me hanging. It, it hasn't guys. worked. No, do you know what? I was just thinking, just when Bridget said there, he's studying, um, he's studying his, his Villa. Is he, is he sitting at home on YouTube watching Danny Ings compilations or watching, you know, what, what Ollie Watkins runs? Maybe he's doing that. And I'm just kind of thinking on a selfish note, I hope his debut isn't at Villa Park against Manchester United. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean <laughs> Ings, Ings can only get better for Danny now. With good <laughs> there go. He's been waiting all morning to be able to say that. That um, is awful. Yeah, Jess, we spoke to Rob there about the kind of ins and outs <laughs> of the deal. Because, you know, we were questioning yesterday when we were talking about this deal on the show here about the wages and potentially could that be a stumbling block for many clubs? How can Aston Villa uh, afford to bring him in, him in on those wages? It's looking like uh, Barcelona are picking up at least half of the wage bill soon. But is this a good deal for everyone then, for Aston Villa, for Coutinho and for Barcelona? Yeah, I think so. I think most parties involved will be happy, although there are a few details that Barcelona wanted a bit differently to the one that's actually panned out. But I think the key details that have now been revealed explain to us exactly how Villa were able to pull off a, a stunning move for, for Philippe Coutinho. And it's that, it's that option to buy. Barcelona actually wanted that to be an obligation to buy at the end of the loan deal. But this gives gives Aston Villa a lot more flexibility because if it doesn't work out by the end of the summer, they don't want to have to legally have to buy him. So uh, Aston Villa have that flexibility there. And again, we did speak earlier this morning about the huge wages that Philippe Coutinho is on at Barcelona. As Rob said, in excess of 300 million euros, uh, 300,000 uh, euros, I should say, uh, which is a lot of money uh, for a weekly wage. Um, but it's important to note that Barcelona will pay, we believe, more than 50% of that weekly wage. So, uh, you know, yes, Steven Gerrard and playing for Steven Gerrard was a lure for Coutinho, but financially, if they don't have to pay all of those astronomical wages, I think it helps. Just shows Villa are the winners. In all, in, all, in, all, in all aspects, you know, if, if it doesn't work out, no problem, send him back, 
won't be nice for Stevie. You'll probably have to delete him off WhatsApp. Don't want to see him anymore. <laughs> but you know, you can you can move on. You can move on. So I, I think Villa are the big winners. You, you talk about the wages as well, because there are, there are a number of clubs who are higher than Villa at the moment in the Premier League who are absolutely crying out for some creativity in that midfield. And I think we know who I'm talking about. And if they have got a good deal financially, then, then well done to Aston Villa. But let's face it as well, Christian Perso has been quite open about it as well, that Aston Villa have money to spend and they're showing it with a, with a serious signing and they look like they've got a proper manager in Stephen Gerrard. And Dean Smith did a brilliant job as well. Yeah, Don't yeah. get me wrong, a fantastic job. But Gerrard's a very ambitious guy. That's yeah. why I said why he left Rangers as well. Yeah, and I think what's really telling as well on Twitter is the fact that actually loads of people are getting excited about this signing. You know, as a kind of neutral when it comes to the Premier League, it's the kind of player you want to see in the Premier League. And I also just wonder, Coutinho, he's going to have a point to prove, isn't he, Flex? He's got to be hungry, exactly. There's a lot of people that have been writing him off. Um, you know, people saying that he's, he's a bit of a has-been, he's not at the, the same level. Oh, look at the level, he's, no disrespect to Aston Villa, that he's had to go down to from where he's been. Yes, it might be a little bit of a downward step, but it's a chance to rebuild his career. It's a league that he knows very well, a league that he's done very well in in the Premier League. He knows it inside out. I think, I think this is going to work. I do. I, from the Barcelona perspective as well, you know, it's interesting listening to Rob. They can't be playing hardball too much. They need to register a new signing. Yeah. They've got key players taking substantial wage cuts. We were here in the summer talking about the Messi situation. It was a very bleak time for Barcelona. We still don't know the ins and outs of their final financial situation. But what we do know, the signing of Coutinho proved to be financially a complete and utter disaster. Yeah, well, Philip Coutinho heading back to the Premier League. At